Alrighty squad, what's going on out there? We just left the Gaithersburg City Hall. We're now over here in the Bethesda Chevy Chase area. And this is the uh, Montgomery County, Maryland, Bethesda slash Chevy Chase Services Center on Edgemore Lane. I believe this is North Bethesda, technically. The hell? That was a truck starting up, that was weird. But yeah, we came to check it out. Took us forever to find parking. It's a lot different than back home. Oh, oh that's weird, okay. First floor, child care, Chevy Chase at home. Exit deposit parking lot, second conflict resolution. Live and learn Bethesda and meeting rooms. Welcome to Montgomery County Regional Services Center, okay. Sorry, I was fixing my watch. Wash my hands and got uh, water all under. <coughs> okay, I guess we'll go to the top floor and then make our way down. As you can see, as always, county and government buildings in Maryland don't have updated elevator permits, but every other commercial business has to do it every year. Over the conflict resolution center. As always, they have the AED machines. There's another big meeting room. Nice size meeting room. Live and learn Bethesda Conflict Resolution Center. Oh yeah, look, there's the big area. There's a nice size one. Here we have some nice artwork. Is that Bob Marley? Okay, it's a big copy machine. A couple, couple offices. Oh, they got some water bottles. Maybe they'll let me get one. Looks like they got stuff that they make little grab bags out of. Mm -hmm. Doesn't say anything about employees on it. Oh, I'm just making sure. I don't want somebody to yell at me or anything. Here is the electronics recycle area. I wonder if they do personal computers or only like city slash government stuff. Oh. Looks like that fell down. There we go. Put that back up nice and nice and straight. Okay. It looks like this is the governor's citation. We don't want that falling down. That's not good. And then there's some more offices, a couple offices here. Cute little doggy. How you doing? And then here's a computer lab. And then the County Council of Montgomery County, Maryland. Proclamation. Please do not lock this door, thanks. I like that thing on the wall, that's pretty cool. That's a nice little piece of artwork for sure. That's badass. Uh, excuse me, are you here for somebody? Huh? Are you here looking for somebody? No. Because I'm going to close the office right now. Oh, no, not till 5. Oh, but the manager's not here, so I'm allowed to close it at 4 right now. No, 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 no. City, city dollars go to pay for this office to be open until 5. Yeah, but I mean, I'm not allowed to leave you just in here by yourself. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. I think you're going to have to stay with me for a few minutes then while I... While I gather some content for my story, I won't be long. Okay, sounds great. Only a few minutes. The only the area is only you know. I'm not gonna be here for like an hour in this okay. office. Don't worry, just like two minutes. Hey, question: Do you guys do um, like uh, personal computer recycles, or is it only for like county uh, offices and stuff? Like, do you guys only do like government computer recycle, or can? Well, uh, we are not part of that company. That's like a whole different company. Okay. So I'm not sure about like all of that okay so if, if it's a uh if it's a third party company i'm sure they have a way for 
the public to come and donate as well. I didn't know if like the county was the ones doing it or not. So yeah, I think you can also donate computers awesome. and stuff like that. Heck yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you very much. No problem. So yeah, this is the company. You can contact Oasis and they will refurbish old computers. Oh, and donate them to low income seniors. That's awesome. I have a couple old laptops I can get them to refurbish. So yeah, it just looks like some offices, some nice little meeting areas. And yeah, that is the Conflict Resolution Center. Okay. Alrighty, miss. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Okay. Oh, I like this piece of art. part of the International Rotary Club. We are proud Bethesda birthday booster 150 years. Now it's in 2021. This is the services center. Huh? Why does it look like it's shut down? And What's up, brother? I thought I said you guys were up until five. Uh, what time is it? Four. Ten. Well, we are, well, I am here as open, but yeah. where we take appointments. I got you. I don't. I don't need like an appointment or anything. I'm just yeah, just gathering some with? content, just checking out the public and publicly accessible areas. Cool. Got you. So yeah, I'm just gonna come check out the public area since it's not. This one, this one's not public. Inside here is not publicly accessible. No, this is a. Yeah, this is a lobby. This is a county office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the lobby is open to the public. They're like the offices are. That's this your is, private area. This is a lobby. This is not a lobby. This is a uh, county employee offices. No, it's the services center. It's the Bethesda Chevy Chase Regional Services Center, but we are not. Our office is not open to the public. We make yeah, appointments. your offices are. Yeah. The lobby is though. This so is like, the does, lobby. The, does the this public is, come in is, here? This is a lobby for, this is a meeting area. This is a lobby for, this is a meeting area. This is a lobby for, this is a meeting area. Yeah, no, no, you, you just said it, it's the lobby. Mm -hmm. uh, so does anyone come into this area and receive public services? Do they receive any sort of service from a public employee behind this door? They do, but by appointment. Okay. I understand that you guys are trying to relegate it to appointment only because of COVID, and that's fine. I don't need an appointment, but the public lobby is accessible. I'm just coming in to check out the lobby. Again, I'm not going to any offices, they any unauthorized them. areas, just trying to check out the public lobby. We have someone here who is uh, auditing, like a public auditor. Yeah. He, so, he, brother, how he you doing? wants to come into our offices to audit our office. Yeah, can I ask him I'm speaking to, to now since we're calling? Not a public area. Yeah, since we're calling other people over here, can I ask him I'm speaking to? My name's TJ Dan. TJ, TJ Nat. TJ Dan. TJ Dan. How you doing, TJ? And your name, sir? It's Peter Fossilman. Peter Fossilman. Hey, how you doing, guys? What's up? Fine. This is, yeah, this is the Yeah, so, like, yeah, just the, just the lobby area. That's all. It's not a public So, like, area. normally if COVID-19 weren't going on, somebody would be able to come in, open this door, and no. go straight to that desk. Hold on, just open this for one more second so we see that little desk I, right I, there. Dude, I can, I can honestly close this door to you right now. You, this is... No, that would be a violation of a federal statute, sir. I would, no, I would think... It's not, but this is... <laughs> this is no yeah, I would, it actually is. is. I would, I would think twice. To I'm going to prop this up in one time. I got gotcha. you, but, no, but yeah. So yeah, de denying yeah, someone services or denying someone of their fourth First Amendment right to gather content in public accessible areas is a violation of the federal statute, Mr. Peter Bosselman. Okay. Hello. As you can see, there's a desk there. There's a lobby area. 
There's chairs. There's a desk. This is open to the public. They're trying to relegate it and shut it down because of COVID. It's not five o'clock. This is open to the public. Look, there's magazines there to read. There's hand sanitizer, artwork. There's pamphlets right there in the corner. There's information that is available to the, oh wait, no. The hand sanitizer is from over there. Either way, there's still magazines and seats and a lobby area right there. So they're full of shit. They are literally full of shit. TJ Dant and Peter Fosselman. Employees of the Bethesda Chevy Chase Services Center. Nobody works at them. Everyone's at home. And the people that do work here shut down at 4 o'clock. Huh. Hey, how come there's magazines and chairs if it's not a waiting area? How did they get to that staircase right there? How did they just get to that staircase? Where was that at? I got security cameras right there playing on the TV. Look at that weird old shit. That's what they meant about the glass doors to the left. This looks to be like a kid's thing. I don't want to go in here if this is a kid's thing. Yeah, that looks like a, a kid's school area. Oh no wait, I've already been on this floor. I've already been here. Cause the lady down here shuts down an hour early. Huh. Crazy man. This is what tax dollars pay for. Nobody can update an elevator permit. No one even comes in to work. If they do, they leave an hour early. Christ, if they do stay here to work, they don't do any work. They tell you you gotta make an appointment for everything. It's just crazy, man. Like, they push people to get the vaccine so much. It's like, if the vaccine is so well and so effective, then why can't, like, the government officials and public employees return to work? Everybody else had to. Everybody else had to get back on with their lives. Why do these folks get to stay home and not do shit? I don't get it, man. I just, I don't get it. It makes absolutely zero sense, but that just is what it is, man. That's how the cookie crumbles. And that's how they treat you. Truck power on. Uh, authorized personnel <laughs> all right well as you can see that's how they treat you over here at the bethesda chevy chase services center 4805 what is this wisconsin you know what road this is oh 4805 edgemore lane so until next time squad be safe out there take it easy peace out